Welcome back everyone to the Stellaris a Guide, uh, version 2.3 of course. Um, so, last episode, we uh, we made first contact with the, um, the Gargaxton Empire. So let's take a quick look at him. So, what do you see over here? So basically, it is a, uh, it shows you its empire, of course, what it is. So, uh, a Torian as well as a materialist. So he will most likely start to use uh, robots by the looks of it. Robot upkeep negative 10. And uh, research speed plus uh, 5. A monthly influence uh, plus 1. And worker basic resources output plus 10. So his workers do... Um, well, they get a bonus of plus 10% for whatever they do. It's, it's, it's quite strong. Um, their opinion of us... And looking at this, it isn't too bad because we, of course, made that trade deal. As you can see over here, we have a trade deal with the Commonwealth of Man. Um, but they have their borders closed to us. So at the moment, it is negative 9. Over time, this will change. Um, the new contact at the moment, as you can see over there as well, is negative 14. And every, two, every year, it will gain plus two so it will go towards the zero however our favorable trade deal will go down with two every year so at some point you will have a negative of around uh, let's say 30 negative 30 which is not bad if we didn't have the borders closed it would be negative 10 so we could easily trade our way into his favor um, what you want to aim for with your trade deals if um, if it is possible some are just way too far into the negative to do anything about what you want to be focusing on is some of these over here as you can see a commercial pack its acceptance is negative 42 uh, i believe that is the lowest one out of all of the options um, yeah, by the looks of it, it is, of course. So the commercial pack is first in line. It's easiest to obtain, and I believe that's with all the empires that you will come across. The commercial pack is the first one. So whether or not you are going to get this guy to be on your good grace or your good side is going to be of this. So what this will do is it will start generating trust. At the moment... You have a decay of 0.25 each month. So every month, the trust that you have, and the moment is zero, is, is going to be depleted by 0.25. When you get a commercial pack, this will change. It will go up. And it will go up towards, by the looks of it, there, the maximum trust of us is 50 due to no significant diplomatic relationship so we can get we'll get up to 50 in trust that will offset this negative 30 let's just say negative 30 this is negative 30 and we'll go up to 50 this that by then is going to be 20 so he's going to be more inclined to accept say a a research agreement holy crap wait a minute the commercial pack is not easiest. Acceptance of the research agreement is free. That is interesting. His technology level is equivalent. His economy is superior and his fleet is 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 overwhelming. Now, don't don't think any of it at the moment. Every empire in this point in the game is going to be overwhelming to you. The reason for it is because scaling is off. They are strong. They started strong. And it is your task to get up to their level. And they will just continue. And normally I'll pick up with the AI in 50 years. And I'm thinking it might happen here as well. So what can we do? Can we, can we, can we make another trade deal? Can we offer them a tiny bit more? In, um, let's see if we can get that um that negative three up so let's see what will it do there you go so now we're on plus 13 we have a good trade deal they are they're so happy about this that's like oh man they're giving me an alloy that ship so we can use those to um build ships and destroy him 
but we can also form a research deal or a research agreement now f be mindful of this so our monthly gain is free our production is free and the base is free so by making this trade deal it says um, it will increase the trust by 0 010 each month to the maximum of 50 and it will cost us 0 0.25 each month so it this will bring us down to 2.75 but because of it's it is a research deal and this should be changing offset so you can see now is the trust is increasing each month by 10 by by point 10 so in a year's time 12 months it will have gone up by 1.2 so if it would take us about let's just say 30 years until we can form this commercial pack now in time all of the trade deals are gone but he won't be attacking us at this time he might be even opening up their borders now uh, i'm not a fan of opening borders because they they get to research things in your space they could get rid of uh, your um your anomalies that you don't want those you want to save those but it will give you time to make sure you get to territory which you would like without having to worry about this guy killing you in year 11. So, with all of that done, let's take a quick look at our buildings. What is it that we are lacking? Now, we have a unemployed work here. Oh my. Yeah, we don't want that. So what do we need? Well, we need consumer goods, but we can't build those because we don't have the slots for it. But we also need energy. So let's make sure we get a district over here. How about you? Now we have three people over here. He's not doing anything. Uh, we, sh we are going to have a tiny, tiny bit of a problem with our consumer goods. Because we need five in total. Uh, we won't have those anytime soon. But in order to offset this. Now we are going to be selecting something over here. You want to do that with all of your planets. And I've chosen of course the colony in the uh, in last episode. Now, your, the reason why is, is because of the bonuses that you will get. Like, your miners will have a better outcome. But also, look, this, this colony growth speed by 20. I believe it should be seen as well as here. Colony, plus 20. Xenophobe, plus 10. So, he's been growing by 4.27. And he is only growing by 1.85. Now, we can't select anything up here because this is our capital. So that's a bit of a downside, but this colony will eventually outgrow the main planet. So we want to keep it on colony at the moment, but we want to make sure that we give him something to do. We want to open up some of these buildings, and, and definitely we want to get consumer goods on there, we want to get research, we want to get unity, and all of those good stuff. So with all of these things being done, let's continue. Now we're still building up alloys, and we might... We want, might want to look at um, things to start doing. By what do we want to be building? How do we want to proceed? Um, you are not having orders. And that's a bit of a downside. So let's go and take that. You are researching six more orders. So it won't be anytime soon you'll get that. Um, we want to make sure we get a star base. Build it up right there. As well as here. And preferably here as well. Because this is going to be your choke point as well as the other one. Now, like we said, we're going to be researching everything as of now. Um, wow, mysterious runes. Um, Briscoe 3 contains the remnants of an ancient uh, abandoned colony from orbit. There are no obvious signs of disaster which could have killed the inhabitants or, com or compelled them to flee. If we want answers, we need an expedition. So basically, we're going to be uh, digging at some point. Because, but this is not part of the vanilla. So we are going to be uh, leaving it for now. While this is building up. We Now, of course, we want to be doing something with this. Um, we want to make sure that this overwhelming goes towards superior. Uh, we want to be doing that at a somewhat gentle pace. Now, let's go over to the... First ship design. So this is our interceptor. We got some pretty okay weapons. But our design is not um, not final. Uh, we got some dark matter deposits, which is cool. Uh, the reason why I say this is... Let's pause here. 
We don't know what our neighbor is using and you want to make sure your fleet is going to be at its best towards your future enemies. So taking a look at what they have is going to be very important. So let's keep all this one going. So we got this planet. Did we build a colony ship? No, we did not. So we want to be doing that. So let's make a colony ship. Humans. Well, that's being done. Uh, this one will be built. Oh, we got factions. Oh boy, there's so much, so much that's going to be... Um, that we need to talk about. Oh boy. Oh, factions. Factions are amazing. Factions. By clicking this, it will open up the faction tab. But you can see also over here, it has opened up factions. Now you see, um, what kind... What is it? It is an imperial faction. It is a supremacy. So they want supremacy. They want imperialism. Uh, of course, the name, the approval rate of us. So this will tell you there is something that we need to be doing. And you can see that over here by these dots. The many, the many uh, population inside of this faction and how many that support its faction as well. So here we go. There's two jobs, so we got a, a, a aggressive diplomacy and they want to have conquest. Conquering an alien planet will please the Knights of the Void for a time. And that gives a clue as well, so by conquering a planet they won't be happy forever, but um, they will be happy enough to provide you with more, uh, how do you call that, influence. As for these guys, a human Grand Marshal, which is of course normal because we will not allow anyone else. We stand strong alone. Joining a federation will displease them and asserting dominance. Now declaring war against one or more Xeno empires will please the human future movement for a time. So they need conquest, they need dominance or war. Both of them we cannot provide at the moment so they will just be offering us uh, influence and they will be counting up in here um, next tick as soon as we hit one so we'll get 1.3 per month which is absolutely great because we are going to be building up the trust with these guys and it at the cost of 0 0.10 so there you go we are now gaining 4.2 um, because of our deal, we're gaining 3.95. So you want to keep this in mind. Don't go overboard forming um, research deal, commercial pacts. All of them will be adding up. If you are... Uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, if you're going overboard and you will have a negative wave of influence, it will hurt you. It will definitely hurt you. Don't worry about it. It will. I can promise you that. So, did we do something with you? No, we didn't. Now, we're not on our naval cap yet, and we would not have to build anything at the moment. But, of course, we want to make a look. We want to take a look at this. Now, we have our ship design. We have the interceptor. Let's go over here. Now, there is no fleet, apparently. Which is um, striking me very odd. It's probably... I don't know. Let's... Um, hmm, this is odd. No fleets can be uh, in need of, re of reinforcements. Wow. Do I, do I bug out? I got a, a tiny bit of a bug here. Fleet CQ name. Huh. Let's see what will happen if we build another ship. Maybe this will uh, offset this. Let's build a ship. And we're going to do this after the colony ship because it will just take too long. Otherwise, I'm, I need to look into this because this is rather odd. It feels like this is uh, what it used to be at, um, at, at at version 1. Yeah, you just had to build ships and just group them up. Which is okay by me as well. So let's go to speed 2. Our construction ship is going to be to uh, going to Ridicus. Ridicus. Construction complete. Uh, and at some point, once he built a station, we're going to be sending it over here. Because he only has one more order. By the looks of it, we're going to be doing that right now instead of over there. We want to make sure we get this system immediately. And there is of course a site on this uh, planet. I'm not sure what will happen. 
I'm not sure about this one. I've never... I, I, I've... Well, it's been out recently. I haven't been playing a lot with the new DLC. So that's all being done. We got a scientist leveling up. This is because the stockpile is going down. Yeah. What's this? Volatile modes. That's great. This is what you need to upgrade your alloy foundries. Um, but to do that, of course, you will need the skill. Now, can we make this base? Yes, we can. So we're going to be building this. Uh, once this is done, we're going to be building the stations and then we'll move you over here. Now, it could be that we um, lose our territory over here because of an alien empire that we haven't met before. And that's fine. It is fine. It's just how the game goes. Uh, there we go. We got one in, uh, in trust and it brought us up to 13. Or 14, sorry. <laughs> ah, man. So this one's almost done. This one needs some bases, but we don't have them just yet. I'm thinking about building a base in here because this is one of our choke points. Uh, we got farming subsidies. What do we have? Food processing facilities. Food from farmers plus 15%. But you will need to build this building. Uh, it's a good building. Or monthly unity plus 2. And it will open up the way for influence gains. Which is... Definitely good. And I would definitely suggest going for more uh, more unity. Unity is so important, especially early on. You want to get as much as possible. So uh, make sure you get that done. So let's make the mining stations. Let's make the research stations. Uh, we have plus 15. Complete. I'm actually considering uh, making sure that uh, we get another construction ship going. So this one's already been built. Let's go. This one will be colonized, even though it has a site on it. Not sure what it will do for us in the future. Okay, but we, we knew that. We knew that. So we're building one ship, and it's now has four. This opened up the fleet manager again. As you can see, there is a bit of a hiccup. And we are having four, and it will probably say that we can reinforce. No, it's at full strength. Well, at least this was fixed. Let's bring it up to our naval cap. Actually, let's bring it up all the way to our fleet limit. Uh, as you can see, we can have 30. And this will bring us over by 10. Now, we already built a colony ship. But don't forget, you will need alloys to build stations. But we're going to be redoing this. We're going to be building up ships. Now, we don't need an admiral right now because we are still... Not fighting anyone. We're not fighting pirates. We're not fighting a Nebus. We're not fighting an alien empire. So our Admiral is not going to level up. Having an Admiral at this point is going to be useless. Yes, it is useless. Uh, I wish there was something that in, in the game that you could use your Admirals on. Like your scientist. Um, you can use them to assist research if they have nothing else to do. And they will gain levels by that. Um, adds the shadow play modifier. Okay, that's cool. Is that a... Let's see. Anomaly? There's a lot of anomalies still. Uh, there's still so much to do. We have a science ship in orbit. Uh, we'll, we'll do those. We'll do those. Um, you are building. Let's see. You're building up. That's fine. Uh, I was saying we were going to be building a, uh, a construction ship, so we're going to be making that. We'll move it at the top of, uh, of the line, because I want to have it earlier on. It's not going to be working all the time, but we're going to be sending it towards all of this research. And just go for it. Okay, let's research that as well. And let's continue. Maybe we'll find another alien empire in this episode. Uh, at least we're building up our fleet now like I said it's not final we need to see what our our uh, alien empires oh there you go that's just great new contact he is a hive mind now this is uh, important and uh, let me tell you why this is a fallen empire by the looks of it he is um, he only has one trait and uh, usually fallen empires only have one thing in um, they ha they have like, like one of these, uh, these traits. Uh, we are the Lovely Organ and we speak as one. The hive mind has taken note of your presence. We will observe for now. Uh, your future actions will depend upon whether, uh, whether you are a threat. 
an opportunity or expansion. Ooh, okay, alien scum. So, let's pause it for a second. Let's go and take a look. These guys are going to be... No, they're not a fallen empire. And the reason I say this is um, they are not overwhelming uh, across the board. That's usually your first clue. Now, you can see they're at negative 30. They don't like us, and they are rivaling our neighbor. Now, our neighbor has taken up its position against our border. I don't like it, but they did. They will, by definition, go to war with these guys. And we might choose to help our neighbor. Hmm. But that is stuff for later. I would suggest you make your neighbors your friends first. And then see what will happen. If these guys kill them, I'm fine with it actually. They don't have too many planets, but the looks of it they are a continental. Our neighbor is continental. And we are, well, continental as well. So, this hive mind is going to be warring us because of our planet type. That's for sure. Our construction ship is done. And I'm saying this is good, a good point in this episode to end the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope your, this, this guide is going to be of use to you. As for now, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me some questions in the comment section. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.